been writing a really bad book about Nigerian immigrants. And I say this because it wasn't true. It was not true, it was a lie. I was doing something that I felt I should do because I wanted to get published. I, I was not interested in writing about it. My heart was not there. And, and you know, this probably is going to sound very mushy, but I think it's extremely important as a writer that you, you have to care, you have to be emotionally invested and there, and it has to be true. And it wasn't true to me, and it was a bad book. And I, and I wrote this book, and it was huge. I mean, I, you know, I didn't have a life when I was an undergrad, because I would come back from school and just go to the computer and type away, and then I sent it off to agents. And of course, nobody took it, because it was bad. And so that's what I mean. And, and, and I think at the back of my mind, I knew it was not very good. And at some point, I thought, you know, I'm just going to go and write about what I care about. I, I wanted to write purple hibiscus. I wanted to write about the Nigeria I remembered. I wanted to write about religion and, and politics and family. And this was what was true to me. And I thought, I'm going to write it, and then we'll see what happens, right? Um, it's going to be more difficult to sell, obviously, but, but it's true. And I felt much, much better than, than the disaster I had done before. So I think, in a sense, it really comes from what your motivations are and also how much you've put into it. I think sometimes also you might have the right motivations, but then you, you don't take your time in... Um, I mean, one of the things I find, for example, in Nigeria, and I do creative writing workshops in Nigeria, and I find that there are lots of people who want to write, who want to be writers, but who are not willing to put in what it takes to be a writer. So you have people who, you know, they say to me, oh, I wrote this novel in six months, it's very good, find me an agent in New York. And then I take it and I read the first two pages and I say, no, this is a disaster. Right, you need to go back and take your time. You need to go and read. I mean, there's also a sense in which people who want to write are not reading. You cannot be a good writer if you don't situate yourself in the sort of the, the, in, the in literary history. If you don't have the sense of what novels are and, and the wide range of the possi you know the possibilities of the novel. If you don't have that, then you can't write a novel. And so when I say this, you know, sometimes they say, "Oh, because she's become successful, she's very wicked," which is a classic Nigerian way to understand things, right? But um, <laughs> I love my country, by the way. I know you can't tell from, from what I've been saying, but uh, but really, it's just to say that that you know, I think that that um, there are ways to know when you haven't done well if you're honest with yourself and if you approach writing with you know that honesty and, and a certain kind of humility. I think you'll know. So, Kai, um, I'm interested in the physical writing. Uh, sorry, the, the physical part of your writing. How you how the process was like? Would you take breaks in your writing, mm -hmm. or would you be at a continuous stretch? And mm. were there any dead ends, like, you know, you reached a dead end and you wouldn't know where to go next? What would you do? Yeah, yeah. what I would do, and, and there were quite a few, and, I, and what I would do is I would, um, I would get depressed, I would lie in bed, I would um, eat a lot of ice cream, <laughs> I would uh, call uh, somebody I love, you know, family, friend, and, and read. I find that reading really, I mean, often when, um, when it's just not working. I mean, you're, you're sitting there, you want to write, but it's not happening. And when you do write, you know the sentences are just, it's just not happening. I find that reading sometimes helps, particularly people I've read before whose work I love. I just, I just lie in bed and I start to read. And, and sometimes, if it doesn't get the juices flowing, at least it makes you remember the beauty of literature, the worth of it, you know, what literature can accomplish. So that's usually what I do, and that's what I, you know, what, what I would recommend is that you read, that you read somebody whose work you love. Um, how difficult was you to find the research on the war? Like, did you mm. come across any hard obstacles because you said that certain people didn't want to talk about it? Was that very difficult for you? No, it actually wasn't. I mean, th there's been quite, um, it wasn't difficult. I, I read a lot of, a number of books have been published about this war, non-fiction accounts mostly, and, and some fiction as well. Um, Chino Achib actually has a very good uh, story collection about, about the war. Um, so what it really wasn't, and then I went to, I went and I, I used the archives at, um, in London, that there's a, there's a, I went to the British Library, I went to um, the Commonwealth people there. They, they also had quite a bit about, you know, I looked at newspapers. Um, so no, I didn't, actually didn't have a difficult time. I mean, I think if you set out to do it, you can. And then at Yale, Yale also had, um, in the archives, they had quite a bit about um, the war. Newspaper cut-ins, um, sort of, uh, you know, sometimes very long, boring manifestos about meetings that were held in Kampala, about Biafra, and they go on and on, but it's all there. Yeah. Alex. Yeah. Um, I was just wondering, you worked with Nigerian immigrants in Nigeria, and what was your favorite author, or in a sense, which authors have inspired you? 
inspired you to write? Is there a specific author or book that has uh, directed you in the way you write? Or is just the way you feel like writing? Mm. I mean, is there... No, hopefully not. Not directed me. I mean, I, I don't... I don't uh... No, I'm not saying... Thank you for clarifying. <laughs> <laughs> what I mean is, is there a typical um, way of writing, a style that you, you like, or you look up to, mm. that you, you try to reproduce, or is it your own uh, style? Um, there, there are many styles I admire. I don't want to write like any of them. The, um, I, and, I, and I think this is probably what should be the case for, for most writers, that one wants to be oneself. Right, and um, you know, in Nigeria, there's <laughs> Chino Achebe, I think, is 